welcome back to my channel you guys know what this is i'm frustrated because i really am like just not having a good day i tried to film this video and then somehow i lost half of my footage so i'm doing it all over again the reason why i'm sitting right here is because the lighting is really good right here i want to use natural daylighting but my background isn't cute from this angle let's talk about skincare first and then we'll move on to the other stuff yeah i went to generation beauty which was in la and i went on the trip with my youtube sisters which you guys already saw and i got this huge goodie bag full of stuff which i ended up dispersing and giving to friends and family and things like that i um was gonna do a giveaway but it was a lot of stuff and i was gonna have to do like five different winners and ship all of them out and i just figured it would be easier for me to give to people who are you know local that support me so um but the things that i kept i am going to be mentioning some things that i got from that bag in this video first though i want to talk about something that has nothing to do with that this is my little pouch where i put all of my skincare items for when i travel on the plane um you know that tsa likes to ruin your life and take all of your belongings so if it doesn't fit in this bag then they're going to throw it away so i have specific skincare for traveling this is the uh 500 point gift from sephora that i got recently and it is the bosha skincare set detoxifying black cleanser and the luminizing black mask and the revitalizing gel moisturizer i was using this while i was in la and i really did like it i noticed that my skin didn't break out as much as it usually does when i travel so i was feeling that what i really liked was the cleanser and i like this cleanser a lot because when you put it on your face it gets hot that really excited me and i didn't want to keep using up all of this little sample because i need it for my travel bag i went ahead and bought the full size so this is the full size of the black detoxifying cleanser it isn't my favorite all-time favorite face wash i think it's just the sensation that you get from using a hot face wash i still use my glam glow super cleanse because it has that minty refreshing feeling it, that one deep cleans just as well as this one does um but i have been liking this the packaging looks cool the whole concept of a black face wash and it warms up and it feels like volcano on your face i mean that that's just cool right i like bosha stuff i think i'm gonna i think it's called bosha i hope that i'm saying that right because otherwise y'all are gonna be like you saying it wrong you sound ignorant <laughs> In conjunction with my face wash i have been using something new you guys know that i was excited about the foreo isa just did a review on this if you guys wanted to check that out i have a review on it already so i'm not going to go into depth about this toothbrush and why i like it this was sent to me to review but i actually really do love this and i would actually buy this with my own money just in case you're wondering and if you don't believe me I love this so much that it convinced me to go ahead and get the foreo luna mini which is the face wash um tool that is a part of the same brand these swedish people they get me okay like they got me with ikea and now they're getting me with their um cleaning utensils and i love them this was so awesome and i love the fact that it is a vibration feeling instead of like a scrubbing the clarisonic is a little bit too abrasive for some people and i've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it saying that it'll break you out and all that stuff so i was scared to try the clarisonic so i went ahead and got this um, I heard it's better for sensitive skin. It's not as harsh. Um, it's not as abrasive and same thing that I was talking about with this toothbrush, but for the face and I like it so far. My face has never felt more clean. Oh my goodness. My makeup goes on smoother. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this has really helped with just clarifying my skin and really getting rid of like huge pores and, um, all that stuff so i really like this so far if you guys want a full review on it i will do one in a couple weeks and let you guys know how i'm still liking it but so far it's been a great investment for me it was i believe 120 dollars. i think i don't know you know i invest in my face so um and i wanted to be a vib member so i got this from sephora so that i could be a vib member and get all the perks other face products i've been using this neutrogena alcohol free toner after getting the neutrogena gel um the neutrogena hydrating uh gel whatever you know you know what i, I did a review on it but this is the alcohol free toner by neutrogena 
and I don't know why I bought this. I needed some more toner and I usually use Thayer's Witch Hazel. You guys know I love Thayer's and I actually miss Thayer's. This is not better than Thayer's. It's alcohol free and I needed a toner one day and I saw it, it looked pretty. It doesn't work any better than any other toner I've tried. It just smells so clean and fresh, so fresh and so clean, clean. Like the Neutrogena, why can't I never remember the name? The moisturizer, you know. And it's like, <laughs> I just like how good this smells um, because it smells really, really clean. What just happened? Another skincare item that I like is the Life's a Beach Body Scrub by um, Lush. And this is one of the items that I got in my Generation Beauty bag. What I really, really like, well, I love Lush anyway because all their products are vegan, cruelty free. I'm not a vegan or anything, so I'm not too crazy about vegan products. But, you know, that means that it's not going to harm your skin or anything. And I really like this because it's sand. Like, it's actual, it's actual sand, guys. Like, it's, oops. But this smells like vanilla, which is also cool. And I don't know, this is just a really good nice scrub i like it this is not a skincare item you guys know that i love my smashbox photo finish primer water i have not stopped using this since i first tried it and i ran out of my sample so i went and bought the full bottle and i love this stuff even when i don't wear makeup i wear this it just makes me feel so refreshed and i have heard about the new fix plus sprays the ones that have scents and stuff so i'm definitely going to try those out if any of you guys have tried any of them let me know what your favorite scent is because i'm debating between getting the rose one and the coconut one what does yuzu smell like i don't know what yuzu smells like but it's yellow and i like yellow so this is my favorite part of my whole makeup routine just dousing my face in this i love this stuff Let's use that product to transition into my makeup products. Um, this bronzer that I got from my Generation Beauty swag bag. This is the City Color Bronzer. It's very pretty. It's kind of janky right here because I've been using it. It gives you both the bronze life and the glow life at the same time. So if you guys have been hearing about this huge strobing craze. I don't really know how to feel about the strobing because some people are like, oh my god, strobing is awesome. Some people are like, oh my god, what is the difference between strobing and highlighting? And then some people are like, I don't really know what to think about it. I did make a video on my makeup look today and I did strobe technically, but I put bronzer on so I don't know if I messed it up by putting bronzer on. This gives you a little bit of both. So um, I like that the bronzy part has like a rosy tone to it. So it gives you a little bit of bronze, but it gives you a lot of glow too. So it's not like your typical glow bronzer or your typical deepening bronzer, if that makes sense. Every day I wear makeup, I use it. So um, it just gives you a really nice glow. Hope I'm not looking oily here. A lot of people have been asking me how I get a, such a flawless base. And these are the foundations that I've been wearing. L'Oreal Infallible. And I've been mixing that with a tiny bit of my All Day Luminous Weightless because this does give me a really nice finish and it's a very nice color. I wouldn't say that's my favorite foundation, but it is a really good foundation. So I've been mixing it with this one, but this one by itself is just amazing in itself. Like, I don't even have to wear primer with this. I can just, well, my Smashbox primer water, of course. You guys know that I've been using my Becca um, mattifying primer, which I love. It is insanely good, right? But I don't even have to use this with that to make my face matte. Like this is matte on its own. Very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. I think I talked about this in my last favorites video, but I will mention it again because I really, really like it. this palette right here. And I talked about this in my last video where I was talking about my wig. Um, and I had on like that blue eyeshadow on my inner corner. This is, I swear I keep seeing spiders everywhere. Oh my God. Is the Maya Mia palette by Anastasia. And the only reason I bought this is because when I was in LA, um, Lakia was using her Amrezy palette. And Amrezy palette, of course, is gone. It's sold out. It's not available anymore. And so she had the color caramel in that palette, which is this color right here. It is a really, really pretty brown color and it looks great in the crease. It looks great just all over my eyes. Like that was what I was wearing the day that I was wearing that red lipstick. Um, when we were in LA, I was wearing caramel all over the eye. 
and this other color called Morocco. So this Sienna color is really close to Morocco and I like that one as well. I also like this fresh peach color and this aqua color. So I was really feeling this palette not just for this color but for a lot of the colors in it. So collectively it looked pretty for summertime so I bought it. I got this from Urban Outfitters probably is the only place where you'll be able to find it if you wanted to get it. It's $29. I will put a link in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Hopefully it's still there. I hope um, because I know this one is not available anymore. I really love these shadows because they're very, very smooth. They can blend really easy. You guys know what? I don't even like eyeshadow. So for me to have an eyeshadow palette and love it, that's like a huge deal. Julep Oxygen Nail Treatment. And I use this on my nails. As you can see, my nails are super long. And I use this on my nails when I'm not wearing any color or anything. Well, actually, I wear this underneath my nail polish too. But this is a great base for your nails if you just want them to grow or them to stay strong so that they don't break. Because I break my nails all the time, but they grow really fast. So I have to keep something on them to keep them from breaking so much. Um, and this really helps, especially if you're transitioning from being on the, um, the dark side and getting acrylic. Um, to going back natural nails. This will probably help you out a lot too because it'll help to revitalize your nails and give it that strength that it needs. It's a really good nail treatment. I like this. I got this in a glam bag but I'm definitely going to keep using this because I love it. And the color of my nails right now just in case anybody was wondering is this Marc Jacobs color and I love it. It's called Lux. So got this from Sephora a while back but I really really like it. I just started wearing it again. Grocery favorite for the month. So this is my grocery favorite and this is the Method All Purpose Cleaner um, and you use this basically for anything cleaning surfaces. I use it to clean my desk. I use it to clean my bathroom but what I mainly bought this for is okay, you guys know about the rocks in my sink right? Everybody always asks me about the rocks in my sink like Vicky why do you have rocks in your sink? I don't know why I put them in there, okay? I broke the drain stopper and I dropped my earring down there. So I was like, okay, this is bad. I need to put something over the drain so that nothing falls in there. Actually, my friend Taylor, I saw her put the rocks in her sink and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. So I needed something to clean them because you can't just have rocks sitting up in your sink and then not clean them out. I was using bleach spray but bleach spray is actually really harsh on your nostrils. You should not be smelling chemicals all the time like that because it can delete your brain cells. And I figured if I'm gonna keep cleaning the sink out every single day, then I need to use something that isn't so harsh and hazardous to my health. So I decided to get this because it's non-toxic and it smells like lemon and mint, which you guys know I love mint. Since my face is always in the sink, I figured it might as well smell good. So I got this cleaner. And I really like it because it's safe and it doesn't, you know, hurt your, your brain when you're cleaning up or anything. I think you get it from Target, I think, but this is my grocery favorite for the month. Okay, favorite app of the month. So, favorite app this month is an app called Inlight. And just so you know, I will be doing an updated what's, not what's on my iPhone, but an updated how I edit my Instagram pictures because a lot of people have been asking me what I use to edit them and recently I've been doing a lot more artsy fartsy type stuff with my pictures. I thought that I would show you guys how I do that with this new app that I've been using and it's called Inlight. Y'all see the YouTube sister that they made my background. Anyways, um, this is the app and I'm gonna click on it. So that's Inlight. You can pretty much do anything. Like you can take pictures, you can edit them, you can crop, you can skew, you can refit images, like you can fuse two pictures together, you can change the clarity, you can adjust the lighting, you can adjust the sharpness, you can add filters, like different color filters, like duochrome filters, reshape things, you can shift things, you can add different kinds of effects to your pictures, you can make collages, you can add borders, frames, you can make memes, you can add text, you can do pretty much anything you need to do. So this app pretty much does everything that all my other photo apps were doing all in one. So that's why I really really like it because I don't really have to open five different apps to get one picture to look the way I want it to look. I've also been using this to make my thumbnails for YouTube. So I will be showing you guys how to edit pictures and things like that in another video but I just wanted to mention this as my favorite app because I use it all the time for my Instagram pictures now. 
So you guys can download that. I will put the link in the description box to where you can find it. I believe, I don't remember how much it cost, but I don't think it's free. Actually, I don't even think I bought it. I think Cameron bought it and we're shared. So we shared a purchase. Um, but anyways, perks of being married. <laughs> also, I really like Spotify because I've been reliving my childhood because there's like all these different decade playlists. Yeah, Spotify is awesome. Then I wanna talk about, of course, is my favorite YouTubers of the month. First one that I wanna mention is Alyssa Ashley. And I met her at Generation Beauty actually, um, but I had seen her before, but I wasn't following her. So when I met her at Generation Beauty, I was like, hey, she's like, hey, you should follow me on Instagram. And I was like, you know what? I'll follow you back. So we did a follow for follow type, type thing, but her makeup is like amazing. Like always on fleek. And what's even more cool is that her freaking twin sister is just as on fleek. So I'm trying to figure out why both of them look so amazing. Like, is that even fair? Like, is that normal for two people to look that good? Um, so you guys should check her out. I believe she just started it recently, but she's pretty much Instagram famous already, but she just made her YouTube channel not too long ago. So she's building it, but it's coming along really great. Like she has really great quality and really good tutorials. So she, you guys should check her out. Um, I'll put a link in the description box. Also, another person that I've been watching, I don't really know how I came across her videos, but I think I was looking up people who are in C45 because I was trying to find different color matches for foundations. And um, I found this girl and her name is Shariza and she's really pretty. I think she's Guyanese, I'm not sure, but I just found it really cool that she's the same color as me, but she's a whole different ethnicity. But her videos are really nice and she's really like calm. So that makes me calm when I'm watching her videos. Like she's not all like Bleh! in your face, you know? But I really like the way she does her makeup. It's very simple. And, and I like to watch people who are different, who are different from different places who look different. So you guys should go check her out. Last person I wanna mention is a girl named Actually Ashley. Well, that's her Instagram name. I don't know what her YouTube name is, but I'll put it down in the description box. She is about to start her YouTube channel, but you guys should follow her first on Instagram because she does really great hair tutorials. Because if I ever do a tutorial, it'll probably be based on everything she did in her video. So, um, yeah, she's really great hair inspiration for me because we have the same length of hair. So yeah, you guys should check her out. I think that's all for this video. Um, last thing, you guys know I gotta give you the deets. My hair is natural. This is just a basically a wash and go. I mean, I woke up and I put some water on it and this is what it did. It does still have some product in it because I tried to style it the other day with Bantu Knots, but that didn't work. So this is just like basically a wash and go, basically. <sighs> Me having natural hair is, I mean, I have natural, I've had natural hair forever. I just, I'm not used to doing my hair on my own all the time. And since I don't have a hairstylist anymore because Pastor D moved to Tennessee, you know, I'm just really struggling. So trying to get my life together, guys, trying. This bracelet is by my friend DK. You guys should check him out. I'll put his information in the description box, but he has his own um, line of jewelry coming soon. So you guys should support my bro and then this necklace is from be happy live pink it has my my wedding date on it in roman numerals and i love it i think that this is like sterling silver gold plated i'm not sure but i took a shower in it and it didn't change colors and that makes me happy because i like leaving my jewelry on and not taking it off so um i will be wearing this pretty much forever and what else am i wearing oh this shirt's from h m yeah that is all that is officially all so if you guys have any questions please let me know. I will put all the information you need in the description box along with all the links and people that I named and all the stuff that I mentioned. So check that out. Also, be sure to stay tuned for my next upcoming videos. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.